Hey, what's up guys? Mr. Free Coin here coming back to you again today. Hope you guys are doing well and taking care of yourselves. So, as we can see here, the crypto market is quite volatile today. We're, Bitcoin is up uh, within the last 24 hours. XRP is actually up in the last 24 hours as well. It sank back down a little bit last couple days. Uh, but all in all, it looks like there is a little bit of renewed interest in crypto or people are just trying to make money. I think this is probably probably the easiest way to get in and get out with a little bit of profit right now in this particular market. But, hey, we know what we're waiting for. We've been hodling for a long time. So let's press on with our hodling. All right. I just wanted to go over a few things here, guys, some things that are pretty important. Um, first of all. Coinbase is back up to its old shenanigans. Uh, Coinbase goes down as Bitcoin approaches 2019 highs. I mean, does it ever not go down when things start to kind of heat up with crypto, right? So I don't know what the deal is with this. I don't know if they do this on purpose, if it's uh, maybe some type of attack. I, I can't tell you. This is the reason why I do not deal with uh, Coinbase at all. I don't I have an account with them. I think I have maybe a couple dollars on there, but I, I don't deal with Coinbase because they keep they always do this. If you want to cash out, if if uh, we start to really see a, a big rally with everything across the board, I can tell you right now, Coinbase will absolutely shut down and go black and you will be stuck <laughs> and probably they won't. Uh, turn it back on until everything is cooled back down. That would be, I mean, imagine if you if XRP was to hit a couple dollars and uh, Coinbase absolutely shuts down and then, and then it cools back down to 75 cents. I can tell you right now, I would be highly pissed. Now, with that being said, me personally, I like Uphold. Now, I don't carry a whole lot of uh, money on Uphold or anything like that, but... I feel like it's a better way to actually cash out. Unfortunately, though, I mean, and, and when that time comes, but unfortunately, uphold, uphold does not have the uh, the uh, limits that Coinbase has. So, from what I can tell, Coinbase, I have not seen a limit on cashing out. There may be, but the last time I looked, which to be honest with you, I haven't even looked at Coinbase in a while. I haven't been on, on the site, but um, they, I haven't seen any real limits uh, that might have changed. So if, if that has changed, please put that in the comments below. Uh, also, guys, I do, I would like to remind you, please make sure that if you find this video to be entertaining and, and informative, go ahead and subscribe and like. Uh, it looks like I have <laughs> lost a few subscribers, apparently because of my last video, but that's absolutely fine. I am not going to hold any punches guys that is one thing i will not do um it, hey i'm gonna tell you how i feel and that's just it if you don't like it you know it's fine if you unsubscribe right that that's absolutely fine we have that right everybody has that freedom so uh if you do want to hear more controversial stuff hey tune in but anyway let's go on to something that came across my desk today Uphold and Cred no longer have a relationship. Oh my God, what happened? Well, it seems that someone in Cred has apparently run off with some funds. Now, the details of this particular situation, they haven't been released yet. In fact, I cannot find anything in the news regarding this situation. So, I would assume that tomorrow or the next day they'll go ahead and release it. It has to be tomorrow because I doubt very seriously they're going to be able to keep this uh, hidden for very for very long. Um, now, a lot of people in the past have had some questions about cred. You know, when they finally kind of linked up and gave access to everyone here in the U.S., um, I have to admit I did get involved. You know, I I, I felt I felt like Okay, you know, I'll drop a couple dollars in here to see how the turnout would be. And it seemed okay. I mean, I, uh, I mean, no different from Uphold. Uphold is uh, really pretty good. And to be honest with you, 
even though it is unsettling um, and the possibility of losing funds, I mean, you know, 2017 all over again, but uh, the possibility of losing funds is there. I like the way that Uphold really was all over this and they completely severed their relationship with cred because of this. Um, it, it, it may not seem like it, but I think that was a very, very good idea for Uphold. It kind of speaks to their uh, reputability, all right, as far as I'm concerned. So anyway, if you have money on cred, um, uh, I'm sorry, uh, you know, I'm sorry for myself. But all in all, uh, I think uh, from what I also from what I understand to the um, uh, the the well, law enforcement is involved with this situation. They're uh, probably looking for the person or trying to find out what happened and all this stuff. Uh, Cred did issue a small, uh, um, you know, announcement and a little bit of information, but nothing in depth whatsoever. Uh, actually, hold on one second. I'm going to see if I can if I can get that information for you guys here real quick. Uh, just bear with me one second. Okay, so here's the email that they sent out. Cred has experienced irregularities in the handling of specific corporate funds by a perpetrator of fraudulent activity that has negatively impacted Cred's balance sheet and precipitated a law enforcement investigation into the loss of these funds. Cred is cooperating fully with law enforcement authorities in connection with the investigation into the, into the incident Cred is in the process of carrying out an internal accounting of its assets and assessing the impact of the incident on its current business and in consultation with legal counsel uh, has determined to temporarily suspend all inflows and outflows of funds relating to the Cred Earn program. No client personnel, uh, personal information, infor information, uh, if I can read, no client personal information or other account data has been compromised Given the circumstances, we are unable to comment further at this time, but we will undertake to provide an update within the next two weeks. We regret having to relay this disheartening news. However, we assure you that we will share as much information as we can to keep you abreast of this matter. Thank you for your patience and sincerely the credit team. So anyway, guys, um, this is, uh, yeah, this is not good. Cred, um, I think, like I said, some people were already a bit skeptical of them, and sure enough, here you go. Uh, it's sad that Uphold had to be uh, part of that. It's uh, going to tarnish them, I'm sure, a little bit. Uh, I personally don't like the fact that it's going to take them two weeks to uh, really um, share any information. But like I said, we'll see what the next few days uh, holds as far as this, this is concerned. So... Um, if I hear anything more, guys, I'll share it with you. If you are involved with cred, let me know. Put it in the comment uh, comments uh, down below and uh, let me know if you're involved, if, uh, you know, if you experience any uh, any weirdness or anything at all with the whole cred uh, earn thing. So anyway, let's go ahead and move on. A uh, couple other things. Actually, one other thing. I am going to go to the InfoWars site. Guys, so as you can see here, first of all, it's, yeah, I know you see that here. Biden is a pedo. Look here, whether you believe it or not, uh, the information that's been coming out, I mean, it, it's it's true. It is what it is. If you don't want to believe it, that that's fine. I, I really don't. It, it doesn't matter to me uh, because the truth is the truth. Right. Also, uh, there was a diary that was released by Biden's daughter and alleging that there was some molestation going on uh, again, whether you believe it or not, it doesn't matter. Uh, if you only believe what comes out of the MSM, then I'm very sorry for you because uh, you are completely, completely and utterly brainwashed. Um, I, I mean, it's it's sad, but a lot of people are in that situation. So it is what it is. But guys, really, um, I wanted to come here and again 
tell you, if you want real news, if you want what's really happening, you have to come here. If you want to understand how much trouble we are headed towards, if things go the wrong way, come here. Listen to the podcast. Understand what's happening. Okay? If you think that um, th that it's just a normal election and all that, it is not. Absolutely is not, guys. This is this is probably the most important uh, time in in the in U.S. history because if things go the wrong way, this country will become a third world country. I mean, you know, some uh, some people say that's an old term. But look, guys, I've been in a third world country. I've seen what it's like to live under that type of oppression. OK, and being that I was not one of the citizens, I didn't have to deal with that so much. But guys, this is big. This is really big. You have to you have to inform yourselves on what's going on here. I'm, I'm doing this so you guys can look and see the truth and spread it as well we are in big trouble we're this is i mean what's happening is absolutely unbelievable and to be honest with you it doesn't matter who gets elected there is going to be chaos okay so if nothing else share with your friends and protect yourselves get the things that you need get your food get your water get your you know, you know, your protective devices, anything, whatever it is that you need, do it. I mean, the night of the election, you know, make sure also, and this is something you should always do anyway, make sure your cars are never below half full. Never, never let that happen. Okay. You never know when you might have to get out or, or go, you know, get away or, or whatever. You never know. So I, I cannot stress enough. To make sure you are prepared for whatever thing, whatever could happen. Okay, it, it just just be prepared for it. I'm not going to go a whole lot into this. Um, I know there are a lot of folks who have already unsubscribed because they, you know, they're Democrats, and that's that's fine. And and to be honest with you guys, I'm not a Democrat, nor am I a Republican. I am for right. I am for good, not evil. Okay, that's what I am about. So if it were the other way around, if it was a Democrat who was speaking the truth as opposed to a Republican, I would be for that person. It, it, it doesn't it doesn't matter. The, the partisanship does not come across my table at all. I don't care about that. But unfortunately, we are in the situation that, that we're in and we've all been lied to very heavily we've all been duped we've all been led astray and understand that you have to protect yourself you have to help protect the place that you live you have to because your children depend on it you depend on it you don't want to be forced into anything that you don't want to do you don't want to be forced to have an inoculation you don't want to be forced to be tested continuously. And guys, I can tell you this. It is not one inoculation. You'll be getting about five every year, if not more. Not to mention the chip. I've already, you can go back and look at the video where I talked about the chip. Uh, the tattoo or whatever. It, it only gets worse, guys. It only gets worse if we go the wrong way. Okay? And I'm not telling... I'm not saying, hey, go out and vote. This and that. All I'm saying is understand what the truth is so you can under so you can understand what direction to go. All right. So that's all I have to say this evening. I thank you guys for joining me. I really appreciate the support. I appreciate the comments. Thank you all so much. Um, those of you who don't like it. Hey, thanks for watching anyway. Um, that's, you know, like they say. Any press is good press, okay? So that's fine with me. But uh, other than that, if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as the like button. If you feel like this was worth your time and you want to see more, 
Until next time, though, this has been Mr. Free Coiner. Take care of yourselves, and God bless.